We are here very delighted to be unveiling the Living Sacrifice album, our third album. We were very excited for it to come out. Uh, some of our church members, we already knew the message it carried, but we were excited to spread it to the world. Yes, what can you say about this Living, sa Living Sacrifice album? That is the third album by Azafo Sheban that we are unveiling today. Thank you so much, Enis, uh, for this opportunity that you've given me to talk about our third album, Living Sacrifice. Uh, as you have said, uh, today was a great day for us uh, as a church and, of course, as a band, as a Fawashi band, to unveil our album. Basically, we are done with the recording uh, from the studio. And uh, what I can talk about this album is that it's carrying a message that reminds us that as God's people, we need to give ourselves fully to the Lord as a living sacrifice. And the uh, inspiration or where we based our message uh, is in the Bible, the book of Romans chapter 12 verse one, where the Bible says uh, that we should present our bodies to God as a living sacrifice because uh, that's the kind of worship that pleases God. And uh, our prayer is that um, uh, the message that this album is carrying will encourage people to present their bodies as a living sacrifice. Thank you very much. So the next question I wanted to ask about, um, how can you uh, say this project is going to be? What should people expect? What are the programs that will, follow, that will be following on? What are we going to do? How will everybody get to know about it? And the dates, the tours, everything about the, everything that we'll be doing, how uh, people will get to know it. Is there something you can say about that? Uh, actually, uh, for us, this is a journey. Uh, our prayer is that God uh, takes up this album and makes it as a tool uh, to communicate this truth in this album to his people. Uh, basically, to put it in the uh, Christian language, uh, we are praying that this becomes a tool of evangelism. So how we are going to use it or how we are going to walk this journey, uh, after today, after the unveiling, we are going to do the live recording so that we do the DVDs. Uh, so that we have both the audios and the videos. And then in June, we are going to do the launch at our main church, Zion Temple Celebration Center, Gatenga. Uh, and uh, to be sincere, it's hard now to confirm the dates. We do have tentative dates that we don't want to announce at this moment. But uh, in less than a week, we are going to announce the dates, the specific dates. And then after the launch in June, we are going to do national tours where we are going to, you know, to take this message to churches, to schools, and wherever God will open a door for us to go and minister through these songs. And then in December, we are going to have our annual concert, uh, you know, glorious worship concert. And uh, we, until now, we believe it's going to be in Marriott, but we shall announce, uh, you know, about that soon. And I will also be specific about the dates. Thank you. Uh, so one last thing. I think this is the first time we were doing this on social media, using the social media platform and doing it live, showing all our programs live. Um, so in Rwanda, we are so used to, 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 to concerts, to, 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 uh, uh, to bands presenting their albums and everything. But I believe, I know, that I want other people to know about the, the speciality about the album, about the message that Rwandan people or people are not used to. What is that thing that uh, people should know about the band, about the, about the, the album, that will make them, it will be like uh, the authentic worship, a, a true message that is behind that, that will, you would tell people so that people may come and be with us and, uh, and uh, embrace this message with all their hearts and all their souls as it is given to us. Um, I, 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 I think uh, for me, the message I had give is um, it's okay to have fun. Uh, it's okay to have a feel good experience, uh, but you live when you're not transformed. But uh, the message this album is carrying, uh, we want it to transcend just having fun, uh, and we are praying that it transcends that feel good experience. Uh, we actually are praying and uh, we are looking forward to see lives being transformed because of the message in the songs on this album. The challenging message, 
the message that points us to the cross, the message that points us to Jesus, where Jesus is the center of it all. And uh, I think uh, that's something special that we, we tried to put in. But there's also some question you asked about unveiling, like being a little bit special. Uh, yeah, you know some people when they release an album, they want to show it to the world when they are launching. Uh, but for us, we felt like even before the launch, uh, now that the songs are going to be out there, before even we are doing, we do the videos, we felt like uh, let people know that these songs are now ready. And um, this is kind of a new thing, but uh, uh, we felt it is good. Maybe it's part of the creativity that we are coming up with. And uh, maybe we, we'll see other bands or other choirs doing the same. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Pastor, for this moment you've given to us. So we thank you all for following us and being with us. We really invite you to come and join us in, and uh, come with us in the journey we're starting today with Living Sacrifice. We believe and we hope that it will transform your lives and will point you to the cross. Follow us on our social media pages, on Instagram, on Facebook, and on YouTube. As a for Sheband, you get to know more about the dates and uh, the venues and when we are doing the concert, live recording, and all the national tours, the concerts. So you are all welcome, and we hope this will transform your life. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pastor.